In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to install Wall Edit for Minecraft 1.19. And not only am I going to show you how to install Wall Edit 1.19, but I'm also going to show you how to fix any problem you might have along the way. Because I know some people have been struggling with the Java installation and all of that. So let me teach you how to fix any trouble you might find and finally be able to install Wall Edit. Let's get started. Step number one is to click the first link in the description, which will bring you over here to this website, which is our written tutorial on how to do this. I know some of you like to read and see photos instead of watching a video. So this is here for you. And also we're going to use this website to click on one of these buttons to redirect us to the download of wall edit as you can see there's two different buttons the green one will take you to curseforge but do not click on that one yet here's why as of now curseforge only has 1.18 i do recommend you use curseforge in the future once 1.19 is out however as for now it doesn't have it so yeah this is just here for later on if you're watching this video a couple of weeks after it was updated go ahead and check this button because maybe curseforge has it and that is easier for you guys but if you're watching this video now curseforge won't have have 1.19 so what we're going to do is click on the purple button right the first one the engine hub which will bring us over here to engine hub where we're going to find the most recent test versions right so let's go ahead and click on this blue button right here as you can see we're going to download 6192 which is the most recent version at this time by the time you come over here maybe this file is closed already because the 1.19 is out in curseforge okay so that's why i added for you guys both of the buttons also in the written tutorial i show you how to do the process using any of the buttons okay so yeah just feel free to scroll through the pages and anyways let's go back over here to engine hub where we're going to click this little blue button right here and that is going to bring us over here where we're going to find the forge version that we're downloading as you can see well letter forge is right here that is the one you need to download because we're doing this for the forge minecraft if you don't have forge installed don't worry because i'm going to show you how to get forge into your game after i finish teaching you how to download well edit anyways once we have found the file go ahead and click on that and that is going to immediately start the download for well edit for forge 1.19 so let's go ahead and drag and drop this file into the desktop as you can see right here i always like to keep things in the desktop for you guys so let's go and put that in there now if you have forge installed go ahead and launch minecraft drag that file and drop it into the mods folder and that's it you're done you have wall edit installed you're good to go but i'm assuming you don't have forge installed so let me teach you how to install forge and how to install forge properly which is very important and update your java version so this won't crash on you you're going to click on the second link in the description which will bring you to our written tutorial again on how to download forge as you can see i have a video in here if you want to watch that video and learn how to install forge while you listen to me as well feel free but anyways i'm going to teach you how to do it real quick right here go ahead and click on download forge right here which is going to bring you over here to the latest installation of forge to the latest version of forge and we're going to download the 1.19 installer so go ahead and click on that if you don't see 1.19 right here you can go ahead and scroll through it in the left and find 1.19 anyways once we find it go ahead and click on that and that is going to bring us over here where you're not going to click anything you're just going to wait five seconds okay and just look at the top right corner as you can see right here do not click on anything just wait until it says a skip and once it says a skip like that go ahead and click on it and that is going to start the download immediately in the bottom left if you're using chrome if you're using like opera gx it might be on the top right once we have the file we're going to drop it into the desktop just like that i always drop my files into the desktop i don't know why anyways we could go ahead and close out from add focus and we could also close our reading guide or if you want to go through it feel free in order to install forge 1.19 we need to update our java to the newest java version which i have a written tutorial on how to do that this is an amazing tutorial step by step as you can see there's nine pages of steps if you want to install java real quick just click on the download java here that is going to bring you over here to this website where we're going to scroll down until we see java 18th and then we're going to click on windows and then we're going to select x64 installer very important you select this installer because these other installers might install some extra software you don't really want so go ahead and click on this blue link right here and that is going to immediately start the download for java 18 jdk 18 windows and we're going to minimize this because you guessed it i'm going to drop that file into the desktop now we downloaded the installer for java 18th but we're not ready to install it yet here's why some of you might not see any of those cops in there that is because you need to run a jar fix or some of you might even see the cops but when you try to install it it might crash or give you an error so go ahead and click on the fourth link in the description which will bring you over here to our written tutorial where we're going to use this blue button and that is going to take us over here where we're going to click jarfix.exe right here as you can see i made sure that this button redirected you exactly where you need it to be so we're going to click on this jarfix.exe and that is going to immediately start the download for jarfix now we have four files and they'll start all the files that we need we could close out from the internet and we're going to start working on getting wall edit into our mods folder so let's go ahead and click on the jarfix first once you click on jarfix and you run that graphics it's going to ask you for administrator's permission go ahead and allow it and that is going to bring this app as you can see jarfix whatever it's just saying that it run successfully let's go ahead and click on okay and now we could get rid of the jarfix we don't even need it anymore and now we're going to click the jdk 18 windows installer to install our java let's go ahead and click on that as you can see it says that this file has already been installed on my computer would you like to reinstall it i'm going to click yes so you guys could see how to install java this is what the installer is going to look like for you guys so go ahead and click on next next and let java install while java is installing we need to make sure that we only have the java 18th 
within our computer. So go ahead and type search right here, click on type and then add or remove. That's what we're going to type, add or remove programs. And we're going to click to come over here. And in here, we're going to click on the search list and we're going to type Java. We need to make sure that we only have Java 18th if we want to install the newest version of all edit. Any Minecraft version above 1.16.5 will require you to have either Java 17th or Java 18th. And I have seen that Java 17th crashes sometimes. So I do recommend that you have Java 18th. Once we make sure we only have Java 18th, if you have like Java 8 or something like that, you could go ahead and click on it and click on install and until you only have Java 18th. Anyways, we're going to come back to installer because the installation has finished. Go ahead and click on close and we could get rid of the installer as well. Let's go ahead and install Forge 1.19. But before we install Forge, you need to make sure to launch Minecraft 1.19 at least once. Okay, the Forge installation won't work or it won't work properly. If you haven't run Minecraft 1.19 at least once, just open it through your Minecraft launcher, let it load and then you can quit the game. Okay, as long as you're in the main menu, quit the game. Once you have done that, go ahead and double click on Forge 1.19 installer, which is going to bring this screen up in here. We're going to select the client. Okay, we don't want to run a server or anything right now. If you want to run a server, I have a video on that. We're going to click OK. That is going to immediately start the installation for Forge 1.19 and Forge 1.19 is going to allow us to install wall edit with no problems. Okay, let's just wait for this to finish installing. As you can see, once it finishes installing, it's going to give you this little sign in here where we're going to click OK, go ahead and click on OK, and you could even get rid of the Forge installer right now. So what's next? How do we get wall edit to the mods folder? Go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher. So I'm going to type Minecraft launcher. I'm going to launch that up. Let's wait for the Minecraft launcher to launch. As you can see, since I just installed Forge, when I launch the Minecraft launcher, Forge 1.19 comes down automatically here in the bottom left. Many of you will have that in there, which is good. If you don't see it in there, click on installations and make sure that modded is selected. If by any chance you don't see 1.19 in here, click new installation and look for Forge in here. Okay, as you can see, release Forge 1.19 and that's another way of adding Forge. Anyways, most of you will see the Forge sign, the Forge icon and the Forge installation in here. Go ahead and click on this little folder right here. As you can see, Forge is a play. Do not click play yet. We're going to click on this folder in here and that is going to bring up this folder as you can see in here where we have a folder called MODS mods and this folder for many of you will be empty. I'm going to get rid of this file because this folder will be empty or there's another chance that this folder is not even there. Just click right click new folder and add the mods folder. You could create it yourself. MODS is the name. Open that folder and as you can see it will be empty for most of you. What we're going to do in here is quite simple actually. We're just going to drag and drop the world edit file that we downloaded at the beginning. So drop that in. We could go ahead and close this folder. Go back to the Minecraft launcher and click play on Forge. It's going to warn you that you're launching modern Minecraft. Go ahead and allow that and click on play. As you can see Minecraft has opened and I'm going to click on mods to make sure that world edit is in here. So we can see world edit it is in here and if the game didn't crash when you were launching it that means that this version of world edit is compatible with 1.19 anyways let's go ahead and open a world to try it out i'm going to click on single player and i'm going to create a new world as you can see i just opened my game in the land so i could give myself administrator permission and when i type the dash command we can see that we have the brush and all of those tools in there i don't really know how to use wall edit okay i'm not gonna lie i don't know how to use wall edit but i'm pretty sure you guys do so anyways that is how to get wall edit in 1.19 i hope this tutorial was helpful and as always bye bye